Hello boys and girls, this is Angel Malus here and I just watched the latest video of uh, Sweet Jeevas and he's kind of stuck in the uh, medium shards processing facility so I got a couple ideas I want to I wanna share with you guys uh, first of all um, he was kind of wondering if, the, if this could only be pulled out from the top yes there are five lines here and each one represents a side this one red one is actually representing the bottom side so whatever you input from the bottom is gonna is gonna end up in this place now this one would be the actual top side so whatever you pull out of this is just gonna come out over here so as an example uh, and another thing would if you have a screwdriver I'm using a sonic one but you can use the other one you right click you can turn it up in any way you want so you can actually pull it uh, you know, if you if you want to pull it from up because it's going to be too much of the uh, uh, the tubing and whatever you want to pull it from the side because it's it's going to be easier for you. Then you can just turn it and pull it from the side just like that. Um, next thing, using filters, you don't need to put anything on the filter, and it's going to suck everything out of this place only. So as an example, I have a few stacks of this, and if if I just uh, this is an empty chest. If I give it a pulse, it's just gonna come out with this 64 chest, and another ones are gonna come out here. I give it another pulse, and the rest of the chests are gonna come in here. But there's still this in the inventory. So if I give it another pulse, nothing is gonna come out of here. You see, it's still in there. So it, because I see you're you're putting like a stack of gold and you're kind of trying to figure out how, how much to put in here but you don't really need to put anything as as long as it's on the right side it's just gonna pull it out of here alright next um, I figured out a way to because you are having a problem with losing the power of the railgun a lot so first of all you have the railgun installation right and you have it all the way up here and I believe you have advanced battery and all the power the battery is good to have as much power as you want if you can make this one it would be great but this one right here you're wasting a lot of power in each shot each shot would only be aiming to kill one spider and you're using it to kill like three spiders on them the amount of energy you really need to kill a spider is 1.2 so if you leave it at right there 1.2 is the exact amount you need to kill a spider with full energy and once you give it like that um, once you have it like that you have to uh, grab it in your inventory and I think press shift or yeah scroll just so it kinda selects that and then that's it it's set up and you can place it in there now in this case it's already it's already in there so uh, next thing I, I emitted a program and this computer is gonna pulse this thing only if it sees a spider around the area so it's kinda like the other one we did over there with the counter but as long as it has a spider here it's gonna give a little pulse and it's gonna keep on doing the pulse now um, you wanna kinda make it more aut automatic so um, when it's certain amount of pulses this is gonna uh, this turtle over here well it's gonna send a, a wireless signal to this turtle and this turtle is gonna hear listen to it and it's gonna grab this and then come over here to the MFE and drop it right here and as soon as you put something in here the MFE gets sucked with all the energy and the turtle is gonna be watching this you see it's kinda of filling it up right so the turtle is gonna be watching this until it reaches certain amount of energy which means that the glove is already powered so it's gonna grab it back and come and dump it over here so that's that's the plan <laughs> So um yeah, I can probably do no I'll I'll leave that there. Okay, and then this one over here, um I'm sure you don't need it, but I just put it because it's kinda cool. Um and this one looks at the items. If there is items there, it's gonna pull this out. So it will be just a pulsing for the items. Now over here I have this sorting machine. It just needs blue electric power. And I have it with the different colors, so uh, this setup over here is gonna grab any item and paint it white um, and then the medium shard is gonna paint it red they go to the tubing and as you guess the medium shard is gonna fall in there the strings in there and any other block that is around that gets picked up is gonna come in there so they don't clog the system 
and yeah that's pretty much it now over there um, as you can see I have an MFE and it's the capacity stored that's because uh, IC2 has uh, a little sensor thing previewed for this now this turtle has it here and it can be just be a mark one it's simple so let's get let's get this uh, test run now this one you can set up uh, the amount of uh, shoots that you wanted to make uh, obviously you can calculate it with your uh, with your energy and the mo the power that you're using but I'm doing 30 shots just for the example now I'm gonna release some spiders over there and as soon as the spider hits around here that the sensor can view it and it's a mark one so it's not so big as soon as the spider hits around there it's gonna start shooting them as you can see and as soon as the other sensor starts to see that there are items it's gonna start pulling the items out and as you can see the items are coming over there and it's pretty much automatic now this when it reaches zero the turtle is gonna grab it from here there's nothing and it's gonna dump it in there and once it reaches the energy level that it needs it's gonna come and grab it again it's gonna do another 30 obviously it's not enough to to dump the whole energy in it, but as you can see it's not wasting that much it's almost one, it's well it's 1.2 uh, and then it goes and tries to charge it again it charges pretty close so it comes to return it all you will really need to do is put some um, energy on this turtle and everything will be automatic as you can see it's pretty, pretty simple turtles keep dying and you don't really need to do that thing it's pretty automatic now the turtle will stay there until um, there is enough energy so I'm gonna dis disappear this for now and maybe suck the energy with this let's give it some more turtles I mean <laughs> some more spiders not turtles Okay, it's coming in there, and as you can see, the turtle is not—it's not grabbing it because this is not charging. So, if I put this, the glove is still gonna start charging, as you can see, and then this starts charging, so the turtle can grab it. So basically, the turtle is just waiting for this to have some input, and then it's gonna continue doing. Now, this over here, I just have it as a—if I press this, the turtle is just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna wait for no signal or anything. And that's it. If you like it, if you want the code for all this stuff, or you think you can make it, it's cool. If you want the code, just maybe leave me a comment and and I can send you the code uh, or a link for the code. All right. This is Angel Malus signing off. See you later. Bye bye.